Hi and welcome back to South African Homesteader. Today we will be showing how we build our chicken coop with chicken run and brooder boxes. So let's get into it. For this build we are using waterproof ply board and treated crater wood. The ply board was also coated with a wood sealer to prevent rot and to basically just um, protect it from weather conditions. Perhaps when he's finished, then he can give us a little bit of a what he did here. Okay, when the coop is finished, I think he's gonna give me a. Oh, oh what? What is the idea of of your coop? Why it? The idea of the coop. The chick's safe because there's so much bread in this year. Ah. And, uh, I'm gonna stand so that the coop is behind. Uh, I uh, I thought one meter high would be fine. It looks a bit high, but it's actually manageable. So, but what you basically did was you took some um, uh, camp poles. Camp poles I planted about uh, these went in about 500. Even 600 deep, I made the, the concrete quite strong okay. after the, this year. After this. And then, um, I'm making the base quite strong. But, uh, and you're using the crater wood for the base, <laughs> correct? Yeah, the crater wood is inexpensive. Uh -huh. but, uh, and it's a nice size. This is only for our layers. <laughs> And we only have 30 because my daughter, we're giving her we the, having, um, the other 69 because we lost the little one. We're going to for a long while. We can raise much. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have them for what? I want to cramp them up and sit in here. We hate the good space so that they can lay. Right. Yes. Right. And in this side, you were saying something about... Um, this side. This here, this is your, your lay boxes under the bowl up here. So okay. we'll be, I'll be able to access them from here. Obviously, it's it's not so friendly for you. It's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to reach them, don't worry. But, uh, yeah, look, I'm just putting a framework together, and uh, it's it's a bit difficult because you want to keep the cost down. Yes. So. You can't just go, away. Eh? Why do you want to... Actually, the coastline is underneath here, but what what you were actually saying, that's exactly this what is, you said to me. This is shade for them. Because um, yeah. continue along here till the front of the, the greenhouse, yeah. there will be a run. This will be a complete run. You did say that, that underneath here, it's, it's also nice for them to... Um, if it gets too hot, it gets very hot. It gets very, yeah, so then they can in the day, because there's a little ladder... Uh, a ramp or a ladder that is, that comes down the The piece of wood in front here is basically being used as a crossbar just to stabilize the build while we are still busy with that. So this is the opening for the door where we will be cleaning the coop using a broom or some sort of a scoop without having to go into the coop. So here, between the base and the piece of wood that's going across is where the brooder boxes will be. A nice angle! Mm. 
So yeah, the sheeting has now been fitted to the framework. Hello! <laughs> So this chicken pool is elevated to about one meter. Okay, we used uh, marine ply, which we then also treated. And these are the layer boxes actually. It's not finished, this was treated, so it's still a bit wet. Um, the smell has to be completely gone before we put our chickens in here at the moment. They are in Abilan Rizar's chicken coop. So these are the layer boxes. I think we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine layer boxes and we have 31 um, layers because Nabila will be managing the others. Um, this will be the door where we will be letting them out so this will obviously this will be going i can't we're gonna have a thing there but there we go this will be going up and down so that will that's where they will come out onto the ramp and then this will obviously be the area which i would like to plant out with some whatever this is the door where we will be cleaning so we won't be coming in here much, but this is it from the inside. Oh, okay. And this is the door, which opens and closes. And we have a lock on here. So this door, you just close like this. And this door, we will only really use this door for... Um, so we have chicken wire on top. For circulation and ventilation we have some chicken wire on top there they have a little eave over the um, layer boxes we're also going to be sealing the wood on top with uh, some silicon soldiers in the in the grooves here because it was the crater wood that we actually joined for the lid and that will also secure for waterproofness and in these some more chicken wire and some more chicken wire and this is what it looks like obviously this has got no run attached to it yet wow i'm actually quite amazed and impressed and this is what it looks like So, uh, what we're doing here is, here we are securing the chicken coop, uh, for example, um, dogs digging holes trying to get in, so we put in some rafters in the, in, in the ground, we buried here, and in here we're going to bury some of that, this wire. And um, this is for the chicken run. Yeah, this is from that, that fencing that I got by Hussein. Oh, okay. Faisal! Makia no fun the fencing. So these are for our layers. And their run is going to come till. Their run is going to be till about here. They're going to have quite a big run. Because um, we want him to be happy because we want him to lay a lot of eggs one day for us And what I'm really planning to do is 
I'm going to be planting sunflowers and corn right around here to give them some sort of shade although they will have shade under the coop we're also gonna I'm just I'm gonna plant this full so that it's nice and lush for them um, even though as I'm gonna plant they're probably gonna eat but I'll plant enough for them to um, have some sort of shade their run is gonna come from here across still here and we've also secured our garden so that the chickens don't scratch and go in uh, with this board along the side here yeah? and then this section here is going to be for our meat chickens um, let me show you this section here the, so the run is going to go from here down till there then here we're going to put another cool but it's like not something that is as elaborate as that because this is for the meat chickens and they really will be housed for eight weeks at a time um, they grow up a lot quicker than the the egg layers the egg layers obviously will be a permanent fixture on the farm they will be here for they lay up to five years um, depending on what you feed them so that is where they're going to be the chicken coop is looking pretty awesome i think and i'll show you a close-up now but this is where we're going to be doing a small sort of a on the scale of maybe a chicken tractor that you can maybe move but the thing is we're not going to really um, move the chicken it's not going to be a chicken tractor it's actually just going to be a coop with a run and they will the the, the fence between the two of them um, will allow for them to actually see each other and you know just that so a close-up of the coop what we've done is so these are the layer boxes as we've said before so I don't know if the last uh, um, clip you saw this was open here this was open so this is now completely closed this is this is the lid where we will lift up and we will take out whatever eggs is in here okay without actually going into the coop as I've said before this little door here can close we'll use something we'll use something like that to just lift it up and to close it and we can tie it if you want to leave it open secure it so that it doesn't chop off the heads when putting in some bedding we'll use some hay and a quite a nice thick layer of maybe grass clippings hay etc for them and in these they layer boxes from inside okay and there they've got some ventilation there they've got some ventilation up here and they've got ventilation up there so they're going to hopefully be very happy in here this is only for the 31 egg layers that i have as i've said before nabila with the 69 because one of the 68 one of our chickens um the little chicks of the hundred died on the second day it was a very small baby i fed it with a, even a it couldn't walk really when it came here so we lost one out of the hundred so we had a 99 percent success rate of um raising our day old egg layers and this is it um this also just a quick update this is where we marked out for our house while well, it was staked it's not completely finished it was started yesterday and this area is quite huge actually um, is where we staked out um, we're gonna have as I've said before 15 meter gap and that is where the garage is gonna be and the back of the garage is gonna be this garden which eventually will become the food forest and it will extend till here and it will almost like hug around the chicken coop. Um, so I'm very excited for the way we've thus far planned it out. That is Nabila and Rizar's chicken coop up there and that is where our chickens are at the moment. I have not done a video of inside that chicken coop as yet i'm sure i will in the future our chickens are looking like teenagers guys they are so big 
and they are growing so nicely we're feeding them spinach from the garden and we um, I just really enjoy and the yeah, this is my little grandson also trying to help me with the, <laughs> with the digging it's about the positioning of the coop um, let me turn the camera around because Nabila's uh, been saying the coop is so hidden right now but there's method in my madness because house is going to be over there my bedroom is going to be over there and I have a view of the coop over here now we have to watch my chickens during the day and even at night if I hear anything I'll be able to just look out and see the chickens. Please don't forget to like, share, comment if you have anything that you think might help us along our journey and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Okay, so we're putting on the chicken wire. So we stuff in the ground and we secure it on the side. No, no, no. Take away the stone here. Like, like, oh, no, no, that's fine. You need to see. Okay. Okay. So what they've done here is they've put you nails. Mm. I sound like a black man now. Mm. It's right though in the ground um, and then they're securing it at the bottom as well so they're securing the chicken wire at the bottom as well and it gets clean in the sand also. and then the wood goes to the top and over there the that metal steel wire that goes further down into the ground so they should be quite Secure in here. They should be quite secure inside this bed and inside this coop. I can't wait to get my hands on this coop garden. I don't know if you get such a thing, but they're probably gonna destroy the garden, which is exactly what I want. I want them to enjoy themselves inside here. So, so they now are we are door. finally putting whatever up I'm the right in here to make it interesting for them. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I always end up singing when I say that. So we're putting in a gate now. So we can come from my kitchen over there. <laughs> my future kitchen. Over there. Into the gate. collect the eggs okay so what they're doing now is they are weaving the 
this thing that we planted this cotton thing um, they're weaving the chicken wire to that with wire okay because he's very um, careful that the chickens won't get hurt so everything that is sharp edged and all that is covered with double wood or it's on the outside of the coop not on the inside see so the other thing that I've been told is that my husband does all the work but he doesn't actually do all the work I help all the time I do my own little projects and the thing is I don't always have the energy to carry the um, camera holder or the phone holder because I, I do I don't I'm not that professional I don't have a camera I don't take pictures on my fancy camera and videos I do it on my Android and um, I don't always have the camera available nobody because nobody else takes footage so it's easy for me to take footage of everybody else but my sister was telling me but people want to see you and yes people want to see me but if people want to see me then it means I need to hold the camera and I need to work with the camera in my hand or I need to just carry my tripod put my phone in there and then um, do a video of me so every second or third um, video I do try and do that but mostly it's about seeing what we are doing on the farm and how we are progressing I show a lot of footage of the project that my husband is, uh, uh, does the gardens those are all of my work and um, although I don't always show me planting I don't always show me digging the beads I don't always show me doing um, doing the work but I do do the work we really value our subscribers that have subscribed in the past three months we really value your feedback in the comment section because uh, we really would like to inspire many of those people who are planning on such a journey and who may have reservations um, we would like to inspire them to actually just take the leap and to do it uh, there are many challenges along the way many many challenges and uh, we will be telling you about this we have been telling you about the winds that we've had the storms that we've had we have told you about this greenhouse that is um, that wasn't so secure uh, we have challenges with um, many things but we will be going live I will be notifying you I think on Sunday my husband and I will be doing our first live I will be uh, confirming the time that we will be doing the live and I hope if there's any of you that would like to be uh, that would like to chat with us on our live then um, I recommend that um, you join us on the live and uh, because I think we can only have our subscribers plus 25 people since we don't have a thousand subscribers yet we that is the limit that we can have on YouTube at the moment so we will confirm the time I will be putting it on my whatsapp I will be putting it on Instagram and I will also be confirming it on um, YouTube so from me Haria at South African Homesteader until next time